Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh, that is frightening. Hold on, it's almost to the person in the, the bench there. Let me see if he can get out. Oh, it's so close. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today Mr. Random Bob is back, and he's better than ever. So today we're going to be checking out some random creations here in Brick Rigs, and we're going to start off here with Dob's new pet. This is a crocodile. I don't know why he wanted this, I told him to get the dog, but he insisted on having this. Little does he know, at some point we're going to have to take this away from him. So we've got this and many other fantastic creations. They will be linked down in the description if you want to download any of the creations that you see in today's episode. And if you guys are enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And also, P.S., the uh, Normal Bob movie is coming soon. Just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, Dob, you know Mr. Rob's coming over here in a minute. and He doesn't like sharp objects. You seriously have to get rid of this. Oh, don't look at me like that. Don't give me those eyes. That's not going to work today, Dob. We've got to hide the alligator or crocodile or whatever it is. Uh, speaking of, let's go over the uh, workshop stats of this thing. All right, so this thing was made by Homer. This is the Dino... I have no clue how to say that. I'm going to attempt to. It's called the Terrible Crocodile. That's what it translates to. It's a fully moving crocodile, and it does have a bite button, so... We're probably gonna have to test that out. Uh, I think Rob's coming over here in a second, so maybe he can test it out with us. But yeah, Homer is an awesome creator. He's got a lot of weird things on the workshop. A really unique workshop, I should say. Uh, very cool stuff, but yeah, let's go see if Rob's here. Oh, look, it's everybody's favorite laggy creation. It's Mr. Ragdoll Rob. Well, Mr. Rob, how about you meet Mr. Crocodile? I'm sure he would like to be petted. He just wants to say hi to you. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be bad. All right, I think we might need to do this in slow mo. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. You gotta give him a, give him a little bump. Maybe he's gonna go. Oh, is he going for the arm? Uh, let's go and get him to do a little bit of. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, no, no! Rob's gonna fall in him. Uh, uh oh, wait. Is Rob trying to wrestle with the gator? Oh, maybe he knows what's going on, huh? And he ain't gonna be able to stop this. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, the gator just got... Oh, the gator's... Uh, oh, I think the gator's jaw just fell off. Probably should have put the gator in god mode. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. This is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Look at Rob. He looks terrified. He's like, no. Uh, oh, no. We might need to reset this. Hold on. Let's go full speed. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Get into the... Oh... Oh, I feel like I need to censor this. Uh, let's put a cat over the screen. All right, um, I might need to reset this. All right, we got to work this one more time. Uh, Rob's really, really laggy. Let's just bump into him. Okay, we're going to bump into him with this, the gator. All right, we need to back off real quick. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. We got to get him in the mouth. Uh, I wish there was a way to stick him sideways. Uh-oh. Um, back up, Gator, and... Ooh, there we go. Now go forward. Oh, oh, he's getting him. Oh, he's actually doing it now. Oh, that is just wrong looking. Oh, he got him a big chunk on. He's going for the legs. <laughs> it's okay, Uncle Rob. It'll be over soon. Oh, that is so brutal. I wonder what the Gator could do to a building. It's got a really strong jaw. It's kind of hard to get Rob in there, but... I feel like he could really do some damage to some other things. All right, Gator, go ahead and stop. What is what is left of... Oh, no. <laughs> is that a leg and an arm? Yeah, no, that's a... Uh... Oh. <laughs> hey, Rob. Uh, how's it hanging? I'm pretty sure he wants to go home. All right, we won't invite Rob over for dinner anymore. Okay, well, you know, I really want to test this Gator against a building. Wait, where'd Dob go? Oh, there he is. Pretty sure Dob's entertained by this. I secretly think Dob has issues, and he likes stuff like this. It's okay, Dob. Alright, so the crocodile is feeling pretty hungry today, so I think we have the perfect building for it to take out. This is the Real Estate Office, or the XFS Real Estate Agency, by X Game Wolf, fantastic creator, creates some of the best buildings and towers and brick rigs. Now, before we eat it, we better go in and check it out real quick. 
Maybe we'll set inside while he eats it. I don't know. All right, XFS Buildings. Uh, okay, is anybody home? Maybe I can ring the bell here. Oh, this is actually pretty cool looking. Hold on, let's make sure the lights are on in this thing. There we go. All right, so we're gonna quickly run through this thing. It's uh, four floors, but these are all detailed floors. You know, a lot of people have been wanting to see some more tower survival, and I almost think this building might work. A lot of people want to see buildings that have full interiors and people and stuff, so maybe we'll try this at some point. So this looks like the, uh, with complaints about the condition of buildings, please contact here. Guess you can take a little form. Uh, oh, future plans. Hey, this is like a preview for the stuff that he might be building in the future. Sell more apartments this month, improve the living conditions. <laughs> hey, there we go. Build an elite residential complex. That sounds cool. Uh, finish the Bricksville University. That's another cool one. Ooh, a new HQ. That could be cool. All right. So let's go ahead and wander through here. I think, wait, what am I smelling? I think I'm smelling burgers. Wait a minute. Turbo burgers. Yes, there's a burger joint in here. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. All right, so we can stop by and get a burger. Uh, there is a stair. Okay, that's a back door. Okay, so is it one staircase? Oh, what's in here? Oh, this is behind the front counter. All right, so yeah, you can totally do this since it's got a staircase. Uh, what is up in here? This uh, general offices. Looks like the XFS force is pretty busy. Yeah, this looks like offices through here. Wait, is this building split? Hold on, what is over on this side? Ah, uh, the conference room is over here. Ah, uh, looks like they're, uh, looks like they're planning something evil, almost. <laughs> they're all pointing at, is this the new building? Ah, uh, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's go upstairs, uh, before the crocodile gets here. Let's see, we got more, looks like office spaces. Oh yeah, looks like we got plenty of office spaces in here. I love how detailed these buildings are. Ooh, top manager. Is this XFS's office? That is a huge screen. Oh, man. All right, well, let's go ahead and go up to the next floor. This should be the top floor. Is this just a attic? Oh, and does this go across or? No, that, that was it there. Okay, so this is just like a, a top little section uh, that you can go into. All right, so, oh man, the gator looks pretty hungry. All right, well, I gotta be in the gator to start it off here. Uh, here we go. Full speed. Oh, look at the frames are so much better than Rob's. Oh, let's go. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh. Dude, look how it's eating into the floor. Oh, man, if I keep pushing here, I think I can get through this. Uh, the only thing that might be a little bit hard for it is the whole fact that the base of this building is really tall. But, man, wait, we could totally do like an alligator or a, a crocodile survival challenge in multiplayer could you imagine running from this like look at that it is just eating through the floors oh that is frightening hon it's almost to the person in the the bench there let me see if he can get up oh it's so close oh no oh <laughs> oh that is incredible now another thing you can do you can thrash its head around so you can go left right look at how it cleans out floors oh folks i think i just found one of my new favorite creatures in brick rigs Dude, we gotta use this. I was gonna use it in a random Bob episode because I was like, okay, well, you know, it's really random. I'm not really sure I can do anything with this, but man, we might have to make a little story with this thing. Uh, I'm really, really digging this. You know, we also missed a couple of his uh, dinosaurs, homers. Uh, we've played with some before, but he's created some more. We might need to get into those. Uh, let's see if we can crack the side of the building. Ooh, the side of the building's pretty hard for that gator to crack. Uh, uh, yeah, that is cool. Man, I like the destruction on this thing. This thing is crazy. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get through here. Uh, man, if the uh, base of this building wasn't so tall. Hold on, let's go to the back side. All right, here we go to the back porch. Nothing is safe anymore. Hold on, let's get here. Okay, let's do the head thrashing. Dude, he just takes out so much stuff. Like, this thing could literally crack open any building. He's just got to slap into it. You don't necessarily bite into it at first. Uh, you just kind of eat into it if you can. If not, swing your head around a little bit. And that way you break open like a hole. And then start chomping away at everything on the inside. Oh, man. We got to use... I got to check the, the brick count on this. If we can use this in multiplayer. Oh, this will be a great survival challenge, I think. 
Alright, we're almost done with this building. I think it's gonna collapse soon. Oh, he's eating into this section of floor. Uh-oh, we might need to thrash our head here. There we go. Boom! Oh, I don't wonder if the tail could do damage, too. Oh, and how do we get the tail to go fully over? Uh, oh, so it's A and D. Oh, man, I almost feel like we need to whip it with the tail, huh? And let's position it over... Oh, don't want to destroy the building yet. There we go. Can we whip stuff with our tail? Let's go... Whoop! Oh, that works pretty good, too. Oh, man, we probably could have whipped Rob. All right, uh, I got a little bit more to go on this building. Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. It's collapsing. All right, Gator. Oh, he just split the building in half. Oh, man, I just love destruction. That is so cool. Uh, let's go ahead and thrash the head. Just finish the building off. Boom. That is 3,000 pieces that have been completely destroyed. Hold on, let's look in. Yeah, look at the destruction. Oh, the poor bobs that were in here. Wait, is there still one working at his computer? He's probably typing on the computer right now. Help me, can we uh, get some assistance here? Oh, look at that, that is amazing. I almost argue you could basically do a tower survival, have somebody set in the tower and have the gator attack it. Oh boy. All right, so there's one last thing to do with this gator. We need to blow it up just to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, uh, let's clear. All right, well, it's time to say goodbye to the gator. Oh, we are a little off center. Man, Dob is not going to be happy about this. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be anything in the gator left. Oh. Uh, oh, righty. That was, uh, that was a thing. Yeah, you can see there's some, uh, chunks of crocodile left. Yep. Uh, did anything whole make it out? Uh, on. I think parts went and rained down into the city. Yeah, look at that. There's parts of gator in the city. The poor citizens of Bricksville. You know, they probably had enough of this. They, they don't want to deal with this stuff anymore. All right, well, that was pretty awesome. I uh, do expect to see the gator again here in the future. I think it's time to go on to our next creation, though. All right, so a lot of people have been asking for, like, a return to Burnout Bob. Well, we've got a creation here that kind of plays into that. I've got two soft body cars here. These are by JT Schwarm. Now, these are, I guess you could say, kind of like Beam and G, how it has the soft body physics. And supposedly this has been transferred over into brick rigs. Now let's go ahead and spawn one of these. Surprisingly enough, this car here is 700 bricks. So I don't really know how. How big is it? Wow, it's really no bigger than a normal car. Maybe slightly bigger? Hold on, we need to go crash this thing because these might be something we can use in the future. Alright, so Random Bob is just driving around the city. These things actually have some decent speed. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I did not expect to crash there. I did not even get a good view of that. Wait. Wait, look. Those pieces, they're on like hinges. Okay, hold on. This thing would peel apart, wouldn't it? Wait, maybe we should get another one out. We're going to have a collision at an intersection here. Uh, let's grab the police car version of this, too. We'll do like a normal speed, and then we'll do a slow-mo crash of this. I want to get a good view of this to see exactly how this works. All right, so the Bricksville PD, uh, they're rushing to the scene. Uh, let's see if we can get... Okay, let's watch this in full speed. Boom! Oh, look how the hood folded up. The fender crumpled back. Uh, the front, surprisingly, doesn't have that much damage. Huh, let's check the other car. Dude, that was cool looking. Look, it ripped the wheel off, and it peeled the front end back. Oh, I love that. That is awesome. Hold on, maybe we should try the same thing. We're going to do a slow-mo version of it. That way we can watch the hinges and stuff pull apart. Now, the slow-mo, of course, isn't as, I would say, it kind of affects the physics. So it might not be as big of a crash. So we're going to compensate uh, with a little bit more speed here with it. So here we go. Bricksville PD. We're going to do a side impact here and see what happens. Uh, okay, let's slow it down. All right, here it goes. And boom! Oh, that is cool looking. I love how that hood pops up. Look, the trunk popped open. Oh, the police car just flipped and hit the building. This is amazing. You know, 
I always say in the, the Burnout Bob episodes, like, the bigger the crash, the better, but even with the two cars here, that is so oddly satisfying to see, like, the pieces kind of flopping around on the car, like, they don't immediately break off. That is cool, Han. Here it goes. Dude, where is this police car going? Uh-oh, it might be going to the uh, Sarlacc pit here. Uh, and it, oh, it's gonna hit on the roof. Let's see if there's any hinges up there. Nope, it's gonna hit the rear. Boom, okay, so the trunk just hit. A couple more pieces spilled off. That is awesome. Now, I remember a, a car not too long ago, actually, it probably was about a year ago, that was like a Beam and G-style car that did the same thing, but this is satisfying to see. Yeah, oh, that thing is torn apart. Hold on, let's check the damage on the other one. Oh, man. Wait, where's that one? Ooh, where's, he, where's he going? <laughs> Bob, you can totally stop now. Wait, look, there's a hinge here at the bottom. I don't wonder if this thing could basically break in half. I mean, this one did a pretty decent job. Hold on, let's go uh, get this hit by the train. Kind of curious how that's going to look. It shouldn't just explode. I think it's actually going to kind of rip apart. All right, we're going to start with a solo test. That way the two vehicles don't hit each other. Now, if you recall, most things that get hit by the train either immediately explode into a million pieces or they bounce, depending on how the creation is built. Uh, sometimes if it's like all clipped together, it might just launch the creation. But I'm curious as to how this is going to react to it. So, yeah, I'm thinking a side impact here is going to be the best thing. By the way, the interior actually looks pretty nice. Oh, what's that say? Uh, Swarm, I think it's the, like the brand of motor, I can't really say what that, I can't pronounce that, but yeah, there's some uh, riding on the wheel here. Alright, we're gonna do this one definitely, uh, you know, let's do full speed here, we'll do the other one in slow-mo. Here we go, boom, oh, okay, it still exploded. Yeah, it looked like it actually got caught a little bit, like it slowed down, oh, you can still see some of the pieces are still hinged together. Oh, is that the front dash or was that the rear? I think that's the dash there. Oh, yeah, I got kind of caught under the tree. You know, the best thing to do probably would be to let it only hit the front ends of the vehicle. Because, yeah, I don't think we were going to avoid that. As soon as it dug into the ground, it looked like it glitched a little bit. And it was game over. All right, let's do something like maybe this. Uh, that way, maybe just the front wheels get hit. That way we can see the destruction. We'll do this one in slow-mo, too. All righty, here we go. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Let's get that satisfying crunch. Here we go. All right, it's going to take out the front end. Boom. Oh, there you go. You can see it folding now. Still kind of exploded, but this one definitely bounced over here. The hood pops up. It looks like the front end kind of gets loose, and it's on a hinge. Oh, ooh. Wow. Oh, there goes the back end of that. Yeah, you can see how the even the trunk lid is on a hinge, so it kind of goes up. That is satisfying to see. I like destruction like this. You know, maybe it isn't always about how many cars can I stick in one row to get hit. Maybe it's more about something like this. That is crazy. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about concepts like this in uh, Brick Rigs. I like that. Oh, yeah, you can even see the wheels are kind of dangling, too. <laughs> that is cool. All right, I got one more collision I'd like to do with this. Uh, we need something just high speed. I think the best option is going to be to hit this uh, jump over here. I just want to see how it rolls. So let me go ahead. We'll start back here and let's go ahead and hit the gas. All right, here we go. And speeding along. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Steering gets a little, I get a little behind on steering. It feels like it kind of shifts over. Uh oh, here we go. I just gonna need to make it to the jump. And all right, here we go. Let's see how the, oh, the hood popped up. Boom. Look at that, the doors fling open. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, the whole front end is actually uh, bowed up. That was awesome. All right, I'm definitely keeping those. Uh, I might be able to use those in the future too. Very cool stuff there. All right, so we've got another creation here. This is by Timo Strategy. This is called the Eye of the Beholder. Uh, it's not pleased with what it sees, and apparently it has a laser aboard it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Timo Strategy, pretty cool creator. I think he's actually got a, uh, a YouTube channel now, so you might check that out. Uh, let's see. That, okay. That's a thing. Okay, this isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. So what is it? What does a laser do in Brick Rigs? Oh, oh, wait. What does this look like at night? Is this creepy? That... That's slightly creepy. 
Oh, this thing is loud. So can I turn this? Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, it fully, t oh, this is just a stream. So I guess we're gonna have a little challenge here. How quickly can Komodo take out Bricksville? Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty quick here. All right, so make sure I've got it in the right control method. Here we go, three, two, one. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that is oddly satisfying. All right, uh, take all that out. There we go. It doesn't have that wide stream or that wide bit of chaos, but that is a focused stream. Uh, let's go and see if we can hit the, the gas tank up there. Boom. All right. We're uh, we're doing a pretty good number on Bricksville. Uh, hold on, let's go across this building. There we go. Go, go across that building. Oh, we got one down here with us. Boom. <laughs> oh, boy. That is, this is oddly satisfying. I'm having a lot of fun right now, if you can't tell. You know, maybe I need help. Maybe I'm the one that likes destruction too much in this game. Uh, let's go across that building there. It's kind of weird. The, uh, the stream actually has quite a bit of fall on it. But that is not a perfect line. Like, it actually uh, kind of arches across pretty far. Uh, let's go ahead and here. We'll slow it down real quick. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go. Whoop. So, oh, that sounds terrible in a slow-mo. Oh. So, yeah, you can see how it kind of actually goes down and falls off. Uh, ooh. Wow. That is, a. Uh, that's actually kind of frightening looking. There's some crazy creations appearing on the workshop. Ah, we're still working it here. Yeah, it's pretty fast. I guess if I was a little more focused. Does it have another cam- Oh, that's its other camera. Never mind. Uh, that still does a pretty good job. Like, like I said, it's not like an orbital cannon, really wide. It's a really focused stream. I think would probably be pretty devastating to actual creations, like a maybe a tower or something. But it did a pretty good number on Bricksville here. Wow, that is impressive. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Yep, the uh, nobody is safe from the eye of the beholder. <laughs> that is a uh, wow. That's a creation. Well, Dob, I think we did it here today. Uh, did want to apologize about not letting you keep the crocodile, but I'm pretty sure it'll make an appearance at some other point. Maybe we'll go get you a dog or something, buddy. Don't be sad. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Random Bob. As you can see, we did a number on Bricksville. Uh, citizens are probably ticked off once again. You know, I'm pretty sure we're to the point where nobody lives here anymore. They just give up. Somebody comes by and actually just rebuilds the city, and nobody else shows up because they're so disappointed. Hey, it keeps the property values pretty low, so you can probably buy in pretty cheap here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check out the links in the description. You guys are absolutely awesome. Be on the lookout for the normal Bob movie, which should be coming up soon. I'm going to go ahead and go in, uh, do some cuts, put everything together, make sure everything makes sense. I might have to change a couple things. That way the story, because it was spread out over a month, will have it all kind of put together and make more sense. But yeah, thank you guys for all the support, and we will see you guys next time.